All right, I'm sitting here with Kotaro Hasegawa from Advantest, mm -hmm. the global art leader. Kotaro, introduce yourself. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Thank you, Keith. Uh, my name is Kotaro. I'm taking care of the art global art. It's kind of trying to figure out new market around the, our core businesses. As we know, the, our core business is kind of the wafer testing and the package testing, but not only that, that segment, but also the surrounded market segment. So that Advantage has a grand design and uh, it's illustrating the kind of the integrated workflow type of the solutions and then uh, it's influenced to the semiconductor operations. Okay, so now let's talk about some of the new technology trends that we're seeing in the semiconductor mm -hmm. industry. So there are a lot of new challenges. A lot of things have been changing over the last few years. What are some of the things that you're seeing? Yeah, so that uh, it's very recent days that uh, we see the lots of the challenges, on, especially on the HPC type of the applications, like uh, by driving with the 3D packaging type of stuff. In the era of the HPC, the, we start using the 3D packaging or advanced packaging. Mm -hmm. So that uh, first of all, that uh, we are seeing the computing power requirement and the uh, so many the uh, functionality need to implement into the single package so that uh, we start seeing the multiple dice in the same packaging. And also the device structure getting the so complicated required power is getting high. So which means the more heating issues is coming up mm -hmm. so that we, the testing company, need to control the thermal as is in the accurate conditions, right? To measure the device, the result accurately. So that, that is another challenge for us. So you mentioned uh, about the packaging sizes are getting much bigger in order to enable chiplets to come in. Mm -hmm. Now you have multiple chips or dies coming into the package. Mm -hmm. So obviously, if there's a failure there, that's very expensive. So there's this concept of chip left where you want to try to capture the failure earlier but what are some of the challenges with being able to shift left? How do you do that? So that uh, that is uh, one of the segment what we can use the AI machine learning technologies, and uh, we can predict the further failure in the earlier stage uh, by using the historical data and then the trends of the recent data set, so that uh, we can uh, predict the failure much much earlier phases. But it's kind of the trade-off between the overkill and then uh, uh, the fail detections. So one of the big things we're seeing in test is automation. So what I'm hearing is traditionally what we would do is just watch the yield. And then when the yield starts to drop, we don't know any action to take. Right. Uh, of course, we take the systems down over time, figure out the problem yeah. and go back into production. If we have AI and machine learning tied into that, that we can improve the automation of it. Sure. So the AI and ML can monitor the data and then make recommendations on possible root causes. Sure. One of the topic to use AI machine learning is kind of the outlier detections and uh, the part type of the application is a kind of the dynamically changing the limit value from the variety of the trends of the uh, testing result. That is uh, heavily using on the automotive devices already, but uh, recently not only the auto automotive devices, but also the other type of the application of the device. We start seeing the, uh, this type of the approach. Uh, not only the deeper, but advanced deeper type of the stuff by using the AI machine learning technology, that is coming. AI machine learning technology is just starting to adapt into the testing world, but we keep seeing that such kind of new ideas, the new approach on the AI machine learning technology into the testing world, so that we wanted to keep the working heavily with that such kind of new trends and with the customers, and then to approaching the best efficient way of the testing always.